This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, January 29th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at noon today. We have strong piece energy digging across New Mexico and Texas and Oklahoma. Southwesterly flow aloft around here will bring us some morning showers and thunderstorms we saw a few during the overnight hours and as the cold air moves in this rain could change to snow and while that's taking place severe weather could be breaking out in the mid-south heading into wednesday we could see some snow could we see some accumulation uh, maybe an inch or two maybe higher amounts that's possible meanwhile well to our south and east showers and thunderstorms some severe weather that moves off the east coast here thursday and it just gets cold you won't even be thinking of severe weather you'll be thinking of severe cold temperatures will be at or below zero thursday morning highs in the teens Friday morning could see lows back near or below zero, highs again in the teens. Some increasing clouds with a little bit of snow in the Dakotas could sweep across the state Friday night into the day on Saturday. And Saturday, it'll be during the day, it'll be off to our east, so this will be a Friday night ordeal. Flurries, maybe a dusting at most with that. Temperatures will start to moderate Saturday into the 20s. Sunday will be up into at least the upper 20s, maybe lower to middle 30s in the south, southern and western counties of the state as winds begin to switch around to the south and west and we'll have mainly sunny skies. Monday to start off the new work week we have uh, another system. This is a very weak system at that. Maybe some drizzle, some rain, maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. We'll have to wait and see. And a week from today that system moves off to the east and gets a bit stronger but no cold air comes behind this one as we start to get a ridge behind this this trough axis and the storm off to the east has a lot of precipitation with it now while cold air dumps in across the great lakes it's already starting to moderate around here as temperatures will be uh, a couple degrees either side of 30 by that point a couple days after this on february the 9th we have a zonal flow across the United States, but a trough across Canada and some energy just north of the Great Lakes. And that will produce some snow across well, the northern Great Lakes, some rain in the Ohio Valley with another system, and maybe some snow in Nebraska and the Dakotas into Wyoming and Colorado, but uh, not much around here. A couple days after that, on February 13th, at the end of the forecast, we have a trough over the east, uh, a cutoff low over west of San Francisco, a bit of a ridge over us, but we'll be playing dry around here. Not much precipitation around, a little bit of rain across the southern tier, across the west, a little bit of snow across Canada, still remaining dry and quite moderate around here. Here's a satellite image from last evening. We had some clouds extending from the upper Midwest down through the Plain states, including a few showers and thunderstorms, some cloudiness across the Pacific Northwest, Elsewhere, it was fairly calm. The watch warning map from last evening was not calm. We had some fog advisories across the Great Lakes. We had some winter weather issues in the northern plains and into the upper Midwest. Some freezing rain advisories in Wisconsin and Michigan. Some winter weather issues in New England and in the west as well. KPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. This includes rain that fell last night. Have almost nothing in the western part of the state to maybe upwards of another inch across the eastern counties.